Welcome to a new video of uh, EasyIO. Um, today, we, uh, this video will be uh, containing information on how to upgrade to the latest firmware and um, what our recommendations would be before upgrading to the latest firmware. Now, in this video, we will, will be covering this uh, process for both the FS and the FW series. Now, let's, uh, let's assume as an, an example, so your tech support asks you to upgrade to the latest firmware or you have ordered a new controller which already contains the new firmware and you don't have it uh, and you're getting kit errors. This is typically the process that you want to do um, and to, to fix that or, or uh, how to obtain these files. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to go and visit our partner share folder. Um, this is our portal where we uh, store all our documentation and um, software files. If you are a signed partner or a trained engineer, you would have uh, access to this portal. Now, if you do not own the link, please contact tech support um, for them to provide you this link um, so that you can download the latest firmware. Now, this is the home page of our partner share folder. Um, this is how it looks like, and this is what you will about to do um, and how to obtain these um, these files. Now, you, you want to click on, well, firmware, because that's what we need. <laughs> um, and as I said, we will be covering um, how to upgrade your firmware for the FS and the FW series. So you just want to go and click for, if you want to do for the FS, you want to click on the FS series, and these are all your firmware packages. Now we um, we order them by number, so the highest number will be the latest, in this case would be 57. Um, so this, this is the one that you want to download, so we're gonna go and click that, and we're going to hit download. Now we're gonna go and do the same for the FW. You're gonna go and click FW in this case. Now uh, you have to understand which ones you have. You have a 28. Or do you have a, a 08 or 14 series? Um, the, this is important because the firmware files are different. The kits, however, are the same, but the firmware files are different. Now, in this case, I am actually using an FW28, so this is the one that I want to download. So I'm going to click that. Now, I already have them stored on the background on a different PC, so let's assume that uh, you have downloaded them and you have moved into a folder that uh, where you store your uh, firmware. Um, so this is typically how it will look like. So let me log into my space and show you what I already have prepared. Now, I have them stored in all firmware folder. Uh, this, is, uh, this is also a good method. Um, because during the years this is how you can also keep your kits and firmware files uh, for your older projects or new projects. Now, as we said, we already downloaded 57, we unpacked it to the location we like, and we're going to open it. You're going to see two folders. One would be your Sedona data folder um, uh, containing the kits that belong to this firmware. And this folder would actually contain the firmware file. And as I said, this one has the kits. Now, before you upgrade your controller to the latest firmware, the first thing that you want to do is actually update your CPT to have the kits that belong to the firmware. So you're going to go and copy your Sedona data folder that's inside the package. You're going to copy that. You're going to go to your CPT that you are actually using and you're going to go and just paste it right inside. You're going to go and paste it right inside the Sedona data folders. If you get this prompt, you're going to go and skip that because if you already have some files, well, then you don't need them. <laughs> so you just skip it. So we've done that for now for the FS. Now we're going to go and do the same for the FW. And as I said, we are going to do this for 28. And here is the Sedona data folder for this firmware package. You're going to go and copy that and go and paste it right inside. 
Now, just a little side note, as I mentioned all the way in the beginning about the differences of the um, of the FW series. Um, the, so the kits are actually the same. However, the firmware files are actually different. And the way you can see that is by the numbering of the firmware uh, versions that we give you. So all the way in the beginning, in, uh, and specifically for the 28 in this case, it would be 2.0. But let's say you actually have a 14. It would be 1.0. This is how you can recognize um, what, for, what versions of DFW are running is basically based on those two digits. So 1.0 is for the 0, 08 and 14 series, and for the 28, it would be 2.0. Okay, so now we have added uh, the kits to uh, CPT. This will avoid having, uh, after the upgrade, that you will have any errors that you are missing kits. Okay, so this is why you want to do that. Um, also, now we're going to go and upgrade the firmware. Now, now what you want to do, if you are actually running an application on the controller, please make a backup. Because after the firmware upgrade, your application would be wiped. So if you forgot that, then yeah, there's nothing we can do to help you out because there's no reset button on that. So please, if you have an application, um, make a backup. Now, we're going to cover how to upgrade your firmware. So what you want to do is open the browser and you're going to go and type in the default IP of your control. Now, in this case, we're going to go and start with the FS. So the default IP for the FS would be 192.168.10.12 and go and, go and hit enter uh, and you're going to go be prompted with the login page. You're going to go and log in with the default or your credentials. In this case, mine's our default, which would be admin hello CPT. I'm going to go and hit enter. This would be the page that you will see. You're going to go and click on utilities and you want to upgrade your firmware. So you're going to go and click that. Be prompted with a little pop up. It wants you to browse a file. So you're going to go and click that and go to the location where you have stored your firmware package. Open the folder and open the firmware folder and click and select the file, click open and hit upgrade. Now for the FS, this will take approximately a minute. So once we hit upgrade, it will upload the firmware file, reboot the controller, and your arrow led will blink red solid. So it will not blink, it will, it will be a solid red light. And uh, once it's done, it will go off, reboot the controller again. And now you have upgraded your firmware. Now this will, again, take approximately one minute for the FS. The FW, however, so let me uh, sign out, um, will take approximately 10 minutes. So I'm not actually going to do that in this video, but I will show you how to, um, to find the location on where you can upgrade your firmware. So you're gonna, again, go to your browser, type in the default IP for your FW, which would be 192.168.10.30. And then you're going to log in. Also, if you have your own credentials, obviously type those in. Mine's our default, which are admin hello cpt and then you're going to hit enter and it's going to look, look a little different than the fs so how to find the location of um, where to upgrade your firmware you will go to the left on the bottom you'll see a little plus sign you're going to go and click that which will open the navigation tree you're going to go and hit utilities and as you see in marked in red can't miss it firmware upgrade Go and click that and um, here you can actually see it right i am using an fw28 2.0 um, which is my current version go and go uh, select file go to the location of the firmware 
select the correct firmware package, go to the file of the firmware, click open and hit upgrade. Now I'm not going to do that, I'm already on the latest, plus this is going to take me 10 minutes to do, so I'm going to go and skip that. But this will be uh, the same process, once I hit uh, upgrade, it will upload the firmware file, it will reboot your controller and um, your red arrow light will um, be solid red and once it's done it will um, disable the arrow light again, reboot the controller and you have now upgraded your firmware. Hopefully this will uh, cover the basics. Um, if you have any questions uh, after this video, uh, please contact tech support. Um, but I think this, this should cover the, uh, the basics of uh, how to upgrade your firmware. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, see you in the next one.